Before we're gonna start the video guys, I wanted to ask you for some help and support. You know, currently I'm doing my videos daily, every single day. I have to prepare for them, make them, so it takes a lot of time. So of course, every single subscription and every single notification matters. So that's why I'm asking you guys for the support. Thank you so much and now let's begin. What's up guys, Takeoff Shiro, welcome back to another daily video, hope you guys are enjoying these episodes and today, as you may have guessed already, we're gonna be trying to get the iOS 11 look on the iOS 9, so this works of course for all of the iOS 9 devices and unfortunately guys, don't get too excited because there are so many different stuff we cannot achieve at this point, so many limitations and you know, just the differences between the versions are significant, we unfortunately are missing the iOS 10, but I'm already planning the next video, the part two of this video which is going to be probably in a week or two weeks time so definitely be sure to hit the like button if you want to see this one and yeah guys without any further ado let's go ahead and get started and let me show you how you can transform the iOS 9 into the iOS 11. And okay guys so first of all of course I wanted to say that you will need a jailbreak for this one and so luckily there is two jailbreaks available for now for iOS 9.3.5 and iOS 9.3.4 and below so make sure you check it in the description if your device is compatible. And okay so let's go ahead and start off from something really really visible on my home screen so and this is the iOS 11 theme so as you can see I'm currently rocking the iOS 11 beta 6 theme unfortunately this is not the latest iOS 11 beta 8 as I have right here because the app store icon looks a little bit different the maps look different but as you can see the camera looks uh, pretty much the same so this theme is actually almost one-to-one -one as the original iOS 11 but to install this theme of course you will need an anemone application that can handle all of these tweaks and themes on your device and then of course since install the iOS 11 theme. Yeah, it's exactly like that, called iOS 11 theme from the repo that you may find in the description. And yeah, make sure first of all you install this source that you may find in the description because most of these tweaks come from that source. So the next tweak is called the Hide Me X and with this one I was able to remove the icon labels from the dock. So as you know on the iOS 11 we do not get any labels in the dock just like here and as you can see I don't have them either on my iPhone 5 and also using this tweak I have removed this slide to unlock uh, text that we may find on the lock screen so there's you can see no text in here so but unfortunately I didn't find any tweaks for unlocking with pressing the home button so for now this will be uh, in the part two of this video so in hide me x just go ahead and select uh, its tweak from the settings and then select configuration and you may remove for example from the dock those labels so I don't really remember you may find in icons probably this one but let's say from the lock screen I have removed the slide to unlock so just go ahead and toggle this one to on. Now in the icons, uh, pretty much the same thing as you can see, hide docked icon labels only. So yeah, toggle this one in here as well. And then click on respring and they should do the job. The next week is a pretty important one. Finally, Apple decided to finally implement some support into the iOS 11 for GIF animations. And as you can see, I can actually play some GIF animations on my iOS 9 device. And that's because I have installed the GIF viewer tweak that allows me to kind of get this possibility to do that. So it definitely looks cool as you can see that's not playing the gif animations on this screen because you know otherwise we will drop a lot of frames from here but when i try to press on it as you can see that's playing instantly and it looks really really native and now pay attention to this tweak because man i had to search for so many fonts to finally get something you know that can correspond to the ios 11 fonts and this is the san francisco so if you want to have a custom font on your ios device on the ios 9 go ahead and install the beta font 3 application and then of course you need to install the the tweak mode once you access this application in here you can install this and then go back to here and select the san francisco compact rounded font you know and probably ios 11 has the same fonts but it's just a little bit remade maybe uh it's a little bit changed in the ios 11 but you know this one corresponds to the ios 11 almost perfectly so when i try to compare this one to the original ios 11 as you can see that looks very very similar next tweak is called multi icon mover plus and as you know on the ios 11 we just find finally got this ability to move uh, let's say five icons at once to another home screen so it works pretty much the same all you have to do is just uh, enter the wiggle mode then select applications uh, just like that 
so yeah, it's a little bit glitches in here, but when you go to another home screen, let's say you want to just press the home button, and there we have, all of the icons have been moved. And I'm personally not a huge fan of emojis, but this tweak called the iOS 10 emojis can add the iOS 10.3 emojis from that exact update to the iOS 9. So you do get some more emojis, like for example, the water pistol or the devil, so some, yeah, something like this, and they will be added to your stock keyboards of emojis in here. And finally, the last tweak is called the screenshot XI. So on the iOS 11, when you try to make a screenshot on your device, yeah, it looks something like this, and as you can see, it goes to the bottom left corner, then you can, of course, open this one up, edit this, and then save on your device, and check this out. I can do pretty much the same on this device as well, so let me just try this. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same in here, and I can tell you guys, it works even better than on the iOS 11, so this week it looks even better. So as you can see, more options are available in here, you can add text, you can of course draw something on it and then save it, or of course send it to your friends. And yeah guys, I think that should be pretty much it for today, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video because I had to spend actually one day uh, just preparing these tweaks and you know, searching for them because I really want to deliver the best tweaks to you guys and find them, you know, not something like trashy that you won't really use use but these real tweaks that do work but anyways guys if you enjoyed the video and you want to see part two of this video and for the iOS 10 as well make sure you hit the like button so that will be so so much appreciated and as always guys I hope to see you around in my next one and peace out